G'day mates and welcome to my newest LP. We're going to be playing Pharaoh and the Cleopatra expansion if we do happen to get that far in the game. Now, I've been an absolute fan of this game for a long, long time. I've been inspired by two particular Let's Players on YouTube. They are Super Sajik and GamerZack, both who have incredible plays up there of this particular game. I believe Sajik has completed his fully, although GamerZack is still in the process. I recommend you go check them both out. They are both very good players. Now we're going to dive right on in. We're going to be the family name of BLXZ. I actually do like one of the Egyptian names, but every time I click that, I am running the 1080p mod. Every time I click that, it just scatters stuff all over the screen and I do lose pretty much everything. So we're going to dive in with BLXZ instead. We're going to begin family history and I'm going to skip through. Probably I'll edit it out. I'm going to skip through the cutscenes. I'm not going to be bothered playing through those. You know, if you're here watching this video, you've probably seen them all a hundred times. So let's go on and I'll see you on the other side. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nupt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leads this small settlement. Alrighty, here we are. Six mega shanties. Sounds pretty easy, all things considered. And who wants to play on very easy? That was a test recording game where I needed the money to splash around and rebuilding the city. So we are going to be doing the entire game on hard. Uh, I'm a decent player of this game. I don't think I'm spectacular, but um, well, we'll see how I go. Let's dive in. Housing and roads. That is, it's complicated, but I think I think we'll manage all things considered. Now, I hate these beginning roads. I think they just get in the way. Never a fan of them. I'm going to build myself a nice little housing community right here. And you know what? I'm not going to bother with let only make it four, one, two, three, four. I'm not going to bother with any housing blocks early on. I will get probably a little bit more creative later in the game. But for the time being, we're going to just have a nice little mini community here. Well, and I'm back. You may have noticed a brief jump cut there. I had to quickly duck away. But now I'm back. And uh, as I was, think I was saying, I'm going to be using just some basic little housing blocks at the beginning of the game. I'm not going to bother too much on being creative. Uh, that will come later as the missions demand it. Now I've got a few different housing blocks I like to use. I play differently to uh, Gamzak and Sajik. I have a sort of my own style, but I do tend to like these rectangular sort of blocks like that. We will encounter them as we get there. Uh, watch immigrants arrive. Let's throw in some wells for the time being. I reckon we'll get rid of those pretty soon. We have sufficient money, I think, to keep us going for a while. Okay, food or famine, this is pretty easy. Now, I'm planning on doing probably one video, uh, one uh, one episode per video, what am I trying to say here? I'm going to be doing basically one mission per episode, and I'll be pumping them out, hopefully fairly quickly. I don't think I will, uh, at least early on, I'll be smashing them out as quick as I can. I like to get them out. Uh, I do two videos a day, so you may notice that, let's slow this down a bit. You may notice that I've uh, got a couple of different things coming out, but Pharaoh, I think, is going to be a mainstay for a little while, if it does turn out to be reasonably popular. Uh, ooh, fire in the village. It could be a problem. Let's go and put down a firehouse. Now, these guys, they need to go everywhere. They are real buggers. It's odd that this thing is the first thing to have actually burnt down. Normally, the huts have a very high... Oops, wrong button. Okay, more fires. There we go, the huts are normally the first ones to burn down. Let's have a quick look at the risks here for fire. Very, very high. Hopefully this firehouse will get to it in due course. 
yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Where are... You probably hear my cat singing the song of his people. Okay, these fires are everywhere. Let's temporarily pause it before we lose the entire city. Just throw down a couple of them. Early on, we've got the staffing for it. We'll burn through as quick as we can. And we've got no more houses left. What a brilliant start this game has been. There we go. Let's throw down a couple more houses. We're going to need just a couple to finish this game off. So, get this looking all nice and good again. And drop that one off as well. Okay, I think we are in a much better situation. We're probably not going to need that much food. So for the time being, I will... Actually, we need employment, aren't we? I think I'll throw in a couple of hunting lodges as we slowly get people in. Now, we're going to need a bazaar. Let's throw ourselves a bazaar down over... It probably actually doesn't matter where it is. I like to put them a bit of distance away. Um, probably is better off putting them closer. Again, it doesn't really matter too much. Not so early on anyway. See how we're going for staff. We've got for more than enough staff. I reckon we've actually got quite a bit of unemployment here. Uh, the real problem is they don't like living near. Yeah, these crude huts. We're having a bit of a problem. I wonder if we'll be better off actually pulling some of these down and concentrating them up here. That may be well what I'm going to do. Let's try and get. Let's actually just build a little road out this way. It doesn't matter too much where the walkers end up going. Simply because, at this point in time, there's not going to be any major issues with city. It's not going to be a very big one. If the walkers take a quick detour, we have more than enough stuff. So, collapsed building, finally. Unfortunately, it was our granary, which is probably the last thing we want to collapse. Yeah, we've lost all that beautiful, juicy meat. Somehow they can't just dig it out of the rubble and eat it. Doesn't matter, we'll throw that back up and... Oh, I'm out of money, and there we go. And we will recover now. So it's going to speed through this mission. It's not going to be a particularly big one. Um, they don't like the firehouses. So let's pull these back. And I think we're actually going to put them all at the way at the end of this road down here. Keep everything away from people. I don't have any beautification buildings at the moment, which is the problem. Without those, we are in a bit of a an issue. So I can't really... There we go, mega shanty. That's as high as we're going to get in this mission. I do need to get quite a few of them. So let's hope things get just a little bit better. No, not going very well. Not going very well at all. I do need beautification. Uh, providing houses with food from the bazaar should be sufficient. But it's not working. Ah, oh, there we go. We finally got it. We are going to proceed to victory. Well done by filling your people's bellies with nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire and collapse. You have helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. Well, there we go. A bit of a rough episode, all things considered, but it is the start of this. I'm going to start throwing up a couple more of these episodes. I absolutely love this game. I'm going to be recording through these. And uh, if the enjoyment's out there, if people are indeed watching them, I will probably throw up a couple more in future. I'll make it a staple of the channel, and we're going to click our way through. So make sure to smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy the content. Let me know that you like this Pharaoh stuff and the city builders in general. I may well look at more of them in the future. But anyway, I've been Bielek said This has been a little quick taster episode of Pharaoh. More episodes coming up soon. Take care. I'll see you around.